Heather and her daughter Cadence join us now. And let me just first say the thing that is so apparent between the two of you is your love for one another. And I know that this has been painful, not only physically, but emotionally. What's been the hardest part overall? The pain, it's ugly, I hide it. For 16 years I've hidden it, and now I'm here talking about it, hopefully to help somebody to know what's going on because it's so underdiagnosed. And I know, Cadence, that a lot of times your mom has you help her out, and I know that that, Heather, I know it's hard for you, but at the same time, I heard that you actually may want to do something in your future based on all the help you've given your mom. Yeah, I want to be a dermatologist to help everyone who has it. Good for you. I think this, this is a classic example of something that is so unique, and you mentioned it very fairly in the video that some doctors would have to look up what this is, and this is something where you truly need to be in the hands of a specialist. And we did send Heather to see a specialist in the Dallas area, dermatologist Dr. Aideen Kinston, for an evaluation of her condition. She joins us now via Skype. First of all, thank you so much for, for evaluating Heather. And she mentioned seeing so many different doctors, and it is so rare. After your evaluation, what did you find? Basically, pemphigus vulgaris is the autoimmune version of her genetic condition called Haley Haley. And the skin cells, the keratinocytes, you know, if you think about the skin cells as being part of a brick wall, uh, there's a defect in Heather's skin condition where the bricks basically become dilapidated or they fall apart. So the findings in Haley Haley patients are often in areas of friction, such as the armpits under the breasts, from basically that dislodging of those skin cells. I think there's a lot of treatment options that are left to be explored. Um, even some simple things that we can do to just make her day-to-day -day life better, things to control sweating, which is actually one of the exacerbating factors in Haley Haley. You know, I do treat Haley Haley patients, so I think most importantly is just having Heather actually connect it with somebody who's familiar with, you know, a rare type of skin condition. And Dr. Kingston, I understand you have some news that you'd like to share with Heather. Yes. I would love to take you on as my patient, Heather. Uh, free of charge, my staff's really excited to have this opportunity to be on this journey with you. Thank you. And, and I'm, you know, of course, having a dermatologist is very important, and, and this is going to be a critical part of the equation. As a nutrition doctor, certainly eating an anti-inflammatory diet, I think with fruits and vegetables, you know, is going to be really important just for maintaining your optimal health. And I think the other lesson here is if you're going years and years and years without the proper diagnosis, yes, see a specialist. And in rare cases like this, doing a biopsy, figuring out exactly what's going on at the cellular level can mean so much. Dr. Kingston, I want to thank you for your offer to help Heather through her treatments. We really appreciate it. Uh, that is not all. HeatherLoisMed.com, they're a service that helps insured and uninsured people better afford their medications. They heard about your story and they're gonna give you $5,000 to put towards your treatment and medication. Thank you. Oh. I know you've kept this a secret and you haven't shared. I I'm proud of you today for coming here and sharing it with all of us because there's gonna be people out there right now who hear your story and get the right diagnosis. And Kate, we cannot wait to see what you grow up to become. Thank you for coming. I'm excited. Here. The show is a guest. <laughs> a guest doctor. Stick around, everyone.